My name is Jess Carey, and I'm here in Gede at a beautiful organic Moringa farm um, representing Kalot as we install biogas for Papu Harun and his team um, who are growing organic Moringa. And one of their challenges has been accessing fertilizer for their farms. And so the intention here is to have biofertilizer available on site for their team to be able to lead in the growth of these organic trees. So today we're gonna have a look at the farm as well as the biogas installation and learn about how biogas works in regards to organic farming. So, Papu. Thank you so much for having us to your beautiful farm. You're very welcome. And um, yeah, tell us a little bit about this farm and, and your, your whole operation. I know you have many farms on the coast here um, that are all organic. And so tell us a little bit about your operation and, and what got you interested to begin with in Moringa farming. Well, nothing like uh, a growing business to get a businessman interested. And, and, and that's exactly how it happened uh, back in 2015. Uh, we were advised, we found out that Moringa is a high growth uh, uh, commodity product, uh, agricultural product, and lo and behold, uh, it does extremely well. In fact, it's endemic here at the coast. And so we didn't really uh, introduce anything new here, but Moringa is something that has been grown in this area on small, smallholder farms, generations. People around here say, you know, if you want to know about your Moringa, ask your grandmother. Uh, so it it's, has a long history. And so we discovered that it was mainstreaming in global markets. Okay. And so something, it just turned out to be an extremely fortuitous sort of combination of a plant that local smallholder farmers are growing, have been growing, very familiar with, use it for nutrition, use it for health, health maintenance, suddenly gets, uh, becomes the darling of um, you know, uh, high growth, high uh, value markets in the, from California to, uh, you know, the other end of the planet. So um, we, we, as it were, jumped on that bandwagon. We figured this is a, this is a great thing to do, not only to, uh, as a business, as mm -hmm. a profitable business, but also combines, you know, by, by working with the local people, combines uh, an ability to uh, support them as well. So to add to, as it were, connect them to a, grow, a global market. So yes. not just a plant they know, but a plant they can now sell uh, for and turn it into a cash crop. So that was the opportunity and we grabbed it. Uh, this farm is a, is a full production uh, facility, but it's also a training facility. It's also where we bring the farmers to show them best practices. And on that note, that's why we decided to install our first biodigester um, uh, from Kalot uh, on this farm, because that's going to help us, uh, as you mentioned, uh, in our, in, with, with our fertilizer. We're, we're an organic farm. We're USDA and European Union certified. We cannot use synth synthetic fertilizers or pesticides or really anything. So we had a significant issue. One of the big problems here at the coast is the soil is not good. It's mm -hmm. sandy, low nutrition soil. Um, and so you really need to, you know, if you're going to do commercial farming, uh, the soil quality, soil health is, you know, top of the, top of the uh, priority list. And one of the most uh, painful um, uh, uh, impacts that we, negative impacts that we discovered is that a lot of the girls are subject to sexual violence uh, when they are collecting firewood. You know, they literally need to leave the home, go to remote places where firewood and, you know, some, some of these women suffer uh, violence, suffer uh, all the way to rape. Um, and, and then, of course, pregnancy, if, yeah. that, if that happens. And, yeah. you know, there's a life gone. Exactly. you know, practically, yeah. simply because she was out there collecting firewood. So uh, even though we're not going to end that practice once and for all, but yeah. any contribution that we as a company can make, given that 80%, more than 80% of our farmers are indeed women and with a lot of girls, and given if we can impact the pathologies, this, the social pathologies that, that, that 
impact these 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 people these women and girls so this is a great i love that we're going to be able to show showcase mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. easy it is mm -hmm. not only affordable i mean mm -hmm. we even have financing that can mm -hmm. work for anyone's budget mm -hmm. um and so thank you so much for for giving your time mm -hmm. energy and mm -hmm. also access to this education yeah. and training because sure. what you're really doing is um planting a seed for what could become a really big impact sure. on the coast here so <coughs> can't thank you enough for being the pioneer not at all not at all uh, I, I just want to mention one more thing. One of, as you mentioned, the partner that were the, 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 the partners that we're working with right now, we're, we're working with the World Wildlife Fund for okay. in terms of conservation, uh, but in particular the World Bank. And I want mm -hmm. to mention them. I want to call them out because okay. uh, they're supporting a very widespread. They want to reach 22 or I think 25,000 households in our area or in the coastal area. A very widespread program. Uh, of increasing and enhancing livelihoods okay. among fisher communities. So okay. you got the fishermen out there. The project is called Kemp said it's a fisheries uh, focused project, but what they realize is that you can support the fishing uh, sector, but if you're not supporting the villages and, and, and homes where you know farms where they come from, yep. you've only really solved half the problem. You got and, it. And, and, and so they really uh, put a lot of money, I think it's something on the order of 30 to 50 million dollars, is going towards uh, livelihood uh, development among fisher community uh, uh, um, farmers. Uh, yes. So I do want to mention and, and also uh, give a big thanks uh, to our partners, the World Bank, and the Kenya government, who are also involved in this, the okay. county governments are involved in this okay. as well. Uh, so, Kilifi County Government of Kenya, World Bank, let's get this done. Uh, and, yeah. and with you guys, uh, we think we have the, the means to do that now. Well, Biogas gives you clean cooking and free organic fertilizer, which is called biofertilizer. So, please reach out with your questions. We are so excited to be bringing this technology here to the coast where drought is a problem, where fertilizer is a problem. I'm standing here on a very sandy soil, um, which is why this farmer has joined us to add biogas to their farm. It's to increase their access to fertilizer as well as protect their farm workers from smoke. Um, so now here we have clean cooking, free fertilizer, and they're saving money thousands and thousands of shillings a year by switching to biogas. So we welcome you to come with your questions. Um, we'd love to visit your farm and see how biogas can work for you.